Yaki Siles from the ISS is with us today. What does it stand for, ISS? Institute for Security Studies. Just going back to your book, if you were to write it today, would you still have sketched those three scenarios? The nation divided, the bad one, Bafana Bafana muddling through, and then the Mandela magic. I think generally so. The analysis in the book, uh, Fate of the Nation, has held up very, very well. The largest error in retrospect was that I overestimated the potential of particularly the Democratic Alliance to maintain the trajectory that its previous leader had set it on. Opposition politics in South Africa has been quite a disappointment. The basic theme that South Africa is heading for a significant change. So I had a look again at the at the book recently and read through some of the chapters, and I'm I'm quite happy that uh, the framing that I provided still holds. I made the distinction between what I refer to as a traditionalist faction within the ANC and a reformist faction, and the main challenge and it remains true today is that for Ramaphosa to survive and for the ANC to flourish, the ANC needs deep and fundamental reform that not only takes deals with the corruption and the patronage, but modernizes the party from a rural traditionalist pathway, which is where Jacob Zuma took it, to a modern urban non-racial party. And that challenge remains inherent to the ANC today. South Africa has the largest inequality and unemployment globally. And there is only one thing that can change that over time, and that is a more rapid economic growth and employment growth in the formal sector. But it is only employment growth in the formal sector that eventually reduces inequality. One of the upsides of the book was a split in the ANC. Is, yes. is that close now? I think we're looking at a splintering of the ANC. Um, the party is a shell of its former self. The main challenge is that the ordinary voters in South Africa don't have an alternative. So the main argument, which I put forward in Fate of the Nation, that people are either staying away or grudgingly voting for the ANC still holds to this day. To modernize the ANC would require a, a, a huge challenge. And this is now Ramaphosa's main challenge, because the ANC has become a rural traditionalist party under Jacob Zuma. That's why I refer to a splintering of ANC, a, a continued decline in support. So you don't see a split in the ANC, but perhaps only no. a splintering. What, what do you yeah. mean by a splintering? I, I mean that um, so some traditional factions, some homeland, former homeland leaders may step away. So you may find the additional creation of particularly local parties. But I don't see something like COPE or the EFF, or if you want to go back in history, the PAC. Because I think, in a sense, um, th there is no alternative center around which that can hold. 